when he came down on earth, he was communicating and praying to the Father. Because he was connected to the Father and the Holy Spirit, how he says the Father's in him and he is in the Father, likewise the Holy Spirit, he does not need to pray to himself. Right? So we need to pray to the Son, likewise the Holy Spirit and the Father, all three of these persons within the Trinity we need to communicate to. Because we cannot get to the Son, to the, uh, we cannot get to the Father without the Son. Likewise, we cannot get to the Son without the Holy Spirit, which is why we need to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, with the Son and with the Father. But Jesus Christ was different, okay? Jesus Christ was different because he was really connected to the Father. So when it was when he was here on earth, did, did you he understand told, my question? Yeah, when he was, was here, I told, you, I told you. So when Jesus was here on earth, he did not need to make himself his God, right? He had to make the Father his God because he is the eternal Son of the Father. So was my, what was my question? You said who is the God of the man Jesus Christ? Yes. Right. What's your answer? The, the, the God of the man Jesus Christ. So, he, so when we say God, we mean in submission. Jesus was in submission to the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. But we also believe in a monarchy. Do you know what the monarchy is? So who's the God of Jesus? Do you know what the monarchy is? I, I, I'm responding with the answer. The do you know what monarchy no, is? Yeah. So monarchy Trinitarianism uh, is basically where the Father is a saint. The Father has a saintee. The Father eternally regenerates His Son and gives divinity to His Son. Likewise, the Holy Spirit. So in that context, yes, the God of Jesus Christ is the Father. Okay, if the God of Jesus is the Father, according to you before, you said, your God is God Yahweh. Yahweh is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And here we have, and you said you all have same God. Right. Which means all of you must have same God, including Jesus the man. So, but why Jesus the man is God is not the Son, is not the Holy Spirit, but the God of Jesus is only the Father. Like I said, this right. We do not divide. We do not divide these two persons. We believe in three hypostases, and the Son was already connected to the Father and the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus came on earth. He was just communicating and praying to the Father, right? There's nothing wrong with that because he was already connected to the Father within, in the Godhead before the beginning of creation. Do you, do so you, we need to pray to the Son and the Holy Spirit and the Father is because we cannot get to each one without each person of the Trinity. So we cannot get to the Father without, uh, we cannot get to the Father without the Son. We cannot get to the Son without the Holy Spirit. Which is why, as Trinitarian, we need to pray to each person of the Trinity. Now, we believe in the doxodoxy formula where we pray to the Father through the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. How Jesus says, worship the Father in spirit and truth. And the Spirit is the Holy Spirit. And who is the truth? It's Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, now you just contradicted your own words. Before you told me, you all have the same God. Yeah. And that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy yeah. Spirit. But here we have Jesus, the man. Yeah. The man is God. Yeah. is not the Son. is not the Holy Spirit. Right. So in he, now you have different God than Jesus, the man. It was different with Jesus. I'll tell you why. It's because but, Jesus... So that means do you have the same God as Jesus, the so, man? So Jesus... No, do you have the same God Jesus as Jesus, the man? Was, Yes, because the Father, the Father, we, we believe Who's your God? So my, our God is yes. the Trinitarian God. It's no, Yahweh. who's your God? So Yahweh, is, Yahweh the, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And who is the God of Jesus, Jesus out of all this? Yahweh. No, I'll tell you what. Who is the God of the Jesus, God of the of man? Jesus, okay. No, no, no. So when we say God, Akhoi. in submission. The God of Jesus, right? He was in submission too. Now Jesus was in submission to the Father through himself by the power of the Holy Spirit. Like with us Christians, we pray to the Father, through the Son, in the Spirit, okay? And now, as I said to you, um, the God of Jesus is the Father. Is the right? Father. And your God because, is? Because we believe in one archi Trinitarianism. Are they all the same God? The Father is, is the eternal, he has a say, he's, he has a say -t. The Father eternally regenerates the Son. And the Father likewise regenerates the, uh, the Holy Spirit, okay? And because the Father eternally is connected to the Son, 
The son does not need to pray to himself because he's already connected to the father. But we need to pray to Jesus because we cannot get to Jesus, we cannot get to the father without Jesus Christ. Likewise, we need to pray to the Holy, uh, pray to the Holy Spirit because we cannot get to Jesus without, without the Holy Spirit. So us Christians, we pray to the Father through the Son in the name of Jesus. But also, if you worship the Father, or if you worship the Son, or the Holy Spirit as, as Christians, it does not matter because they are one in nature and the message flows within their Godhead. Okay, if by saying they are one God in nature, yeah. why the God of Jesus, the man, is not the Son, the divine nature, since the Father, the divine nature of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all are one God. Okay. Wait, wait, let me finish. If these three are one God, one God, that means we cannot distinguish these three, which means the God of Jesus, the, the, the God of Jesus, the man, should also be the Son, the divine nature, and the Holy Spirit. No, because but why these two, since they are God, yeah. but they are not the God of Jesus, because the man? We did not, so, as I said to you, a guy if called, they are God, there then they should be council. the God of Jesus there as well. There was a big council around the 4th century where a guy called, Nest, um, I think his name was Nestor Nestorism, where this idea came up where Jesus consisted of two persons. We do not believe the ideology. We believe Jesus Christ was one person. And this one person consisted of two natures. Two and natures. this one person, Jesus, was already connected to the Father. So because he was connected to the Father, he did not need to worship himself. We, should, we see him in submission to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness. And he was in submission to the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness. But as I said okay. to you, us Christians, the reason why us Christians pray to the Son, through the uh, to the Father, through the Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit, is because we need each person of the Godhead. We okay. cannot have the Father without the Son. We cannot be connected to the Son without the Holy Spirit. Which is why us Christians need to communicate to the Father, through the Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So now what I'm asking, since Jesus is God, right. But Jesus is God, and you believe only God can be worshipped, yes? Right. If Jesus is God, and only God can be worshipped, right. did Jesus worship himself? I mean, Jesus, so when is Jesus... Is Jesus okay. God? So, okay, so... Is Lord, Jesus God? Okay, so Jesus is God, yes. Did but you worship... When, but, okay, who okay. do you worship? So, okay, but it's, as I said, it's different because Jesus had an eternal relationship with the Father and the Holy Spirit no. before the who beginning of creation. Who can only be worshipped? I'll, I'll tell you, before the beginning of creation, so when, so when Jesus Christ came down as a bond servant, he was worshipping the person of the Himself Father basically. through the Holy Spirit. Is the Father through and the Son the same God? I, I, I'll, I'll tell you. Through, so, so, okay, so when Jesus came on earth as a bond servant, he was worshipping the Father through the, power of the Holy, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Because he already had that relationship with the Father. He's not going to worship himself because that would look stupid. That would make him look like an arrogant person. But he told us to worship himself. He but, told us to but worship Jesus him. himself is so God. So Jesus told us to worship him. In John 14 verse 14, we see Jesus saying, if you ask me anything in my name, I would do it. We see the three Magi, they were worshiping Jesus. We see in the book of Revelation, the angels, they are chanting, holy, holy, holy God Almighty, the Lamb on the throne. We see the Lamb, Jesus is on, on that throne. And the, the angels in the book of Revelation, they are worshiping Jesus. And Thomas, many, many people, many disciples, many people at a time of Jesus were worshiping him. He did not yeah, reject think... a single one. And what did Jesus say to Satan? I think... You should worship the Lord your God only. Okay, he said you should worship you the time. Lord your God so only. You're not letting me and talk. Jesus Christ did not reject any of that worship from people. Why is it? Let me time. Um... I've asked you a question. No. You say you got one question. No. So now you said Jesus is God. Yeah, right. Right. But he worshiped God. He worships God. But he did not worship himself because that looks stupid. So technically, now it's like you're saying Jesus is stupid. Why? Because he is God and he worships God, but he's, he did not worship himself, but he worshiped God and he's God. So that makes him stupid still because the Father and the Jesus, the divine, Jesus, the divine nature and the Holy Spirit all are one God, if Jesus not does three not gods, him, not two gods. No. Are there first? three gods or two gods? We believe in one God, one being. Three. With three hypostases. In three, yes. Is. Three. So, okay. Since these three are one God, yeah. you cannot distinguish. So then Jesus should worship also himself. 
because he's God. The Holy Spirit, he should wa also worship the Holy Spirit because only God can be worshipped. Worship okay, so can be worshipped. We look at worship in a different view. Okay? So, because the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they had an eternal relationship. When the Son came down, because he was connected to the Father and the Holy Spirit, right? He did not need to worship him. Is Jesus Son of God? Listen, listen. He did not need to worship himself. But we need to worship the Son. The reason why we need to worship the Son and pray to him is because we cannot get to the Father without the Son. But with Jesus, it was different because he was already one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. So he did not need to worship himself. Did but you worship he, the Holy Spirit? He told us to worship. He told us. Did you worship the Holy Spirit? Listen, he told us to worship him in John 14, verse 14. What did he say? And he said, if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. When the three Magi's when, okay, the three, listen, listen, when the three okay, Magi's were worshiping that, Jesus, he did not reject it. When Thomas came up to him and said, my Lord, my God, why didn't he reject it? When the angels, when, when the angels, um, when the Apostle John, when he bowed down in front of the angels, the angels said, do not worship me, worship only God. But Jesus Christ, many instances in the Bible where he accepted worship. Why was that? Because was he a madman? No, because he was fully God and fully man. And he became, came here to be a substitute and came here to be worshipped. Did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? He was in submission to the word. No, uh, did he Spirit. worship the Holy Spirit? Yes so, or no? Okay. Yes so, or no? As I said, we believe in the doctrine. No, no. Did Jesus worship the Holy so, Spirit? We believe yes in, or no? As Christians, we believe in the doxyloxy formula. The do, it's called the doxy lox, um, doxyloxy uh, formula, something like that. Where we worship the Father through the Son in the power, by the power of the Holy Spirit. No, I'm not and asking about we you. We see Jesus, did Jesus was worship in the Holy Spirit to the Holy Spirit. Did he worship the Holy Spirit? Listen, when the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness, what did Jesus do? He was in submission to the Holy Spirit. I'm asking, right? did you, Jesus and worship the Holy he was Spirit? Praying to the Father. What do you say? Worship the Father in spirit and truth. Did Jesus Who worship is the, the Holy Spirit? Ventured it? it is the Holy Spirit. No, so that's we not can the Holy see Spirit. Jesus was worshiping the Father through Himself by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's a Trinitarian formula. Did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? Yes or no? That's that counts as worship because early, the early, so, no, yes the or early no. Christians. No, no, I'm just asking. I'll tell you, the early, is, is the answer yes? Yes, yes because the so early, Jesus worshipped the Holy Spirit. The early Christians. Show me the, from the Bible where Jesus worshipped so the Holy Spirit. The early Christians in the book of Corinthians were worshipping and having canonia, fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Forget about the they early. They got this example because Jesus Christ was doing the same thing. And when Jesus Christ said, worship the show Father. Show me where Jesus worshipped the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And truth. No, show me in from the Bible. Truth. Show me from the Bible okay. where Jesus worshipped the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus says worship in spirit and truth, what does that mean? Listen. What does that mean? I want you to show me. That doesn't mean worship the Holy Spirit. Well, if he, and he doesn't talk about the Holy Spirit. If he is telling us to I do want it, you to tell me. He came here where, to represent mankind. Show me where Jesus worshiped the Holy Spirit. He clearly shows he would have done it. Did Jesus, Jesus, wash, said okay. Jesus would worship in spirit and truth. Did Jesus Meaning, worship the Holy Spirit? Yes, because show to, me worship, what verse. to worship in spirit and truth, you have to be connected to the Holy Spirit to the Son and to the Father. So when, when Jesus says worship in spirit and truth, meaning he must have done it. So he, when he said worship in spirit and truth, he would have worshipped the Father by connecting Shall we read to that the Holy verse? Spirit. Shall we read that verse? Right. That verse, Jesus is not telling you to worship the Holy Spirit. Uh, okay, can I ask you a question? I, I'll quote the verse, John chapter 4, verse 22 to 23. A Muslim means me, one who wait, submits wait, to Allah. Wait, wait, wait. If Jesus is submitting himself to the Holy Spirit, it wait. means he is worshipping wait. him as well. Wait, wait, let me, let me finish. If we go to, back to John chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, Jesus said, there will be a time will come the true worshippers will worship the Father. The Father. In spirit and truth. The Father in spirit and, and truth. Yeah. He never said the true worshippers will worship the Father and the Spirit and the Son. Okay. See the difference, English even. So they will worship the Father. He did not mention the Son. He did not mention the Holy Spirit. He didn't mention so they will worship the Father. Is Jesus the Father? So in, oh wait, is Jesus the Father? Wait, wait. Jesus said the in true worshippers will worship said, the Father. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. He said, honor the Son as you honor the Father. You cannot honor your mother and God at the same time, right? Honor, and when Jesus honor him as you honor the Father, that includes worship, okay? And when Jesus says, 
all sins can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven. But blasphemy against Jesus blasphemy can be forgiven. Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven because the Holy Spirit has a greater role in salvation. The Holy Spirit is the so one who is more greater, listen, Holy Spirit the or Holy Jesus? Spirit is the one who draws us to no, Christ. Who is the greater? And Christ is the one who brings us to the Father. Can you Okay. Who is the so greater? By, who is greater? By Jesus or the Holy Spirit? By accepting the Father, by accepting the Son, by accepting the Holy Spirit, you are in submission to them. And it means you are worshipping them. The way how Muslims believe those who submit to Allah means you are worshipping them. The same way when Jesus was in submission to the Holy Spirit and us Christians are give you a time, submission yeah? to the Holy Spirit, it means we are worshipping them as well. All right. You can speak two minutes. Stop watch. I'm, I'm asking a question. Because, because you're not answering. What, 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 okay, I'm still waiting you. Because Jesus in John chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, right. said the true worshippers will worship the Father. Right. He did not mention the Son. He did not mention he did, the Holy Spirit. He did, he did. According to this verse, anyone who worships the Son or the Holy Spirit is a false worshiper. No, because we believe. Because he we, said the true worshippers will worship the Father. We believe in progressive okay. revelations. What's the way, your evidence that Jesus was listen, worshipped? Listen, why? Okay, why okay. do you think Jesus okay, was worshipped? Let me ask. So we believe in progressive no, revelations. So Jesus said things time by time. He's not going to say everything all at one go because that would be too much for people. So he said it slowly by slowly at different points of time. So he did say yes, worship the Father in spirit and truth. Then later on, Jesus said, if you ask me anything in my name, in John 14, verse 14, I will do it. Can you say that about, about Muhammad? Can you can Muhammad say that by himself? If you, ask, if that? you ask me anything in Shall my I name, I will that? do it. That will be shit. Shall I answer that? That will be associating him partly with Allah. Shall I answer that one? That one, or first of all, is false and fabricated. Do you know why? John 14, verse 14. Yes, do you know why? I was not fabricated. Enough. Because Matthew. Since you said it is a revelation, progression of revelation, revelation. Matthew, John chapter 14 yeah. is way before yes. Matthew right. chapter 20. So if we go to Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23, a lady came to Jesus and said, I want this two of my sons to sit ah, with you one of them to sit at the right side of uh, at the right hand of at the right side of the, uh, at the at your right side and the other one at your left side and what jesus responded he said this is not me to grant but only the father can do this so if you can jesus can give you anything you pray in his name you ask in his name why jesus the weak man who cannot grant the lady two sons one of them to sit at the right hand and the other one on the left side if jesus is all powerful and if you ask him anything in his name he can give it to you so as you said the progression of revelation so john chapter 14 is way before matthew chapter 20. so how can you reconcile because, because when jesus himself even in judgment do you know what jesus is talking about in judgment day let me explain Jesus is talking about in Judgment Day that Jesus himself is weak and less. Okay, he cannot piece. give anything so even in Judgment Day. So Forget basically. about this life. So with the progressive revelation, yes, we have we have progressive revelations. And just because Matthew may have included some parts, John may have included some parts, it does not mean they contradict one another. It's because these authors wrote, wrote it to different audiences. And they wrote it um, portraying a different message. For example, with the book of John, the book of John portrays Jesus' divinity. The synoptic gospels portray Jesus as like as a servant or as a messenger or as a messiah. So these gospels authors portray Jesus in a different way to different audiences. Now notice how Sarraj talks about how Jesus has to ask the Father to give authority for the two, uh, two in judgment yeah, day for two in heaven, not in this life. It's because it's because because my friend. If Jesus, believe, if Jesus that's said, it, that's it. Okay, are you getting my point? I get it. It's because he said, ask any. If you ask anything in I my name, it. I will give yes. it to you. It's because, but the lady asked Jesus okay. to it's grant her two sons was in to be at the right side. At that time, my friend, Jesus was in his humanity. In judgment day, he left. Okay, I'll give. I'll, I'll bring that. So at that time, Jesus was in his humanity. He left that authority behind in the heavens. We believe in a term called kenosis. Kenosis is for the 
self-emptying, where Christ limited himself, emptied himself into the human tissue and did not use his attributes to his full advantage. You know what I'm talking Only about? Only when it was... I'm talking about in God Judgment Day. Day. Forget he, about this life. I am. So now he is, is Jesus God in heaven? So he is talking about the Judgment Day. In heaven. Is but Jesus God he in is heaven? wrong. Because in Judgment Day, when Christ receives the authority, watch this, watch this. In the book of Revelation, in chapter 3, Revelation verse, is imagination, you know three, that. Chapter 3, verse 21. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious, and sit, sat down with my father on his throne. So this is Jesus in his glorious body, and telling John that he will give the right do you believe this he book? He will give the right do you believe in to this the book? people to sit do, on his throne. Do you think Revelation? Father. Do you know? He is running away me, now. Right. He has been busted. He has been busted. Let me, let me, let me teach finish. you. That's I will the, teach you Revelation. Finish. That's the finishing news. Right, right. Finish. That's wait, it. Wait, finish. Wait, wait, wait. Finish. Finish. Do you want to listen? Brother, you got finished. Oh, do you want to listen? He, okay. Oh, do you want to run? No, no, you see, that's, that's... Do you want to run? That's, that's a perfect no, do you finisher. want to run? No, I, I finished. I will teach you Revelation. Is Revelation rebuted. real or imagination? You said in the Bible. Is Revelation imagination? Was Muhammad's vision wait, wait, in the night of Hijra real or imagination? Wait, wait, wait. When Muhammad now, saw the angel Gabriel, was that a real so, or was that so imagination? So now, now, he's, now he's, he's going he's wrong now. Finished, right. Now, you have been finished. Shall I answer? Oh, he wants to go. Okay. He wants to go. So now Jesus in heaven, he's running first time. No, at least he's running. I will teach you Revelation. Revelation. So Revelation is a book of imaginary. John never met Jesus in the book of the Revelation. Do you know why? Jesus himself, John said, I have had all the creation's voice in the earth and on the ground. Revelation and imagination book. So now, this guy, John, Jesus, is talking about in Judgment Day. Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23. Jesus has no authority even in heaven. He said to sit at my right side, at my right hand, my, my and left side, is not me to grant. It's not me to grant, but the Father who can only grant that. So if the father, if the, only the father can grant that, Jesus is powerless, is weak. So even in heaven, in judgment day, Jesus is weak. So Jesus cannot give anything if you ask him in his name. So if that's true, why the disciples did not ask Jesus anything in his name on this earth? Why? So are you telling me Jesus, when he was on this earth, he was weak? He had nothing, no authority. And guess what? Jesus was made lower than the angels. Someone was made lower than the angels cannot be God. Psalm chapter 8, verse 5. And two, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. So now, how can Jesus be God? Even in Daniel, Christians always use the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 13, all the way to the end. So it says, Jesus authority will be taken away from him also Isaiah chapter 11 verse 3 Jesus is coming when he's coming back he's going to fear of his God so even after he comes back he's, he's afraid of his mighty God how can Jesus be God Christians always say Jesus Muslims are antichrist why because our God is not triune God but the God of Jesus the man is not triune God He's only the father Jesus worshiped the Father alone. The Father of Jesus is only the Father according to Christians. They say Jesus is the Son of God. And God, according to Christians, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If these three are one God in essence, in one nature, how come the God of Jesus, the Father of Jesus, is only the Father, not the Son, and not the Holy Spirit? That means these three are not one God. He ran away. He ran away. Revelation, a book of imaginary. John, drunk man, he's seen imagination. Let me show you one thing. John, Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. Let me read this verse. Look. Revelation 5, 13. 
And six five, six thirteen. Okay. Okay. Here, tell me, this book is a book of imagination. Revelation chapter 14, verse 13. It says, John, basically in the book of Revelation, John had all the voice, all the voice of the creations in earth and in the heaven, in the sea, in the ocean. How can you hear? You tell me. How can John hear all that voice? This is a book of imagination. And the book of imagi this book is talking about a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns. Revelation chapter 14 verse 17. So let's go, Revelation. It says here, Seventeen, fourteen. Here it says, they will wage war against the lamb, but the lamb will, and the lamb will, but the lamb will defeat them, because he is Lord of lords and King of all kings. Christian says this lamb is Jesus. So if Jesus. If this book, John saw Jesus in real, this is a lamb. Is Jesus a lamb with seven eyes and seven horns? The answer is no. It's talking about a lamb imagination. John had a voice, the voices of all creations. This is a book of imagination. Jesus can't do anything. Again, another lies. John chapter 14, verse 12. Jesus said, those who believe in my name, they will do greater miracles and what the miracles that I've performed what greater miracles can Christians do nothing so Jesus said they will perform greater miracles than me I can Christians any Christian perform any greater miracles than Jesus the answer is no anonymous Jesus is talking about in, uh, is talking in the Bible anyways assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh He, at least he ran away today. <laughs> he ran away. Ah, he ran? Yes. Christian liar. Today, Christian liar. today he's doing well. <laughs> Next time he can't come to me. <laughs>